Well, how's it going everybody and welcome to another episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. This is the underwater series, Do Bass Eat This? Today's topic is one that I'm super excited to bring to you guys because if you're around my channel for any amount of time, you've probably seen this video. It's a topic that I explored and discovered about two years ago, and that is the Do Bass Eat Crawfish video. And today I'm gonna to be doing a similar study, except it's not gonna be whether or not bass eat crawfish, it's kinda of going to be how a bass eats a crawfish, kind of the mechanics on how they approach eating a crawfish. So I say without further ado, we hop underwater. So as I mentioned in the intro, Today we won't be necessarily looking at whether or not bass eat crawfish, since I think we all know the answer to that one is a yes. We are going to be looking at how a bass goes about consuming a crawfish. Does it eat it head first? Do the claws of the crawfish scare the bass away? Does the bass eat it whole or attempt to knock it out first and then eat it? And various other questions like that. So enough with the talking, let's get started. On this first fish, you will see the crawfish enter on the far right side of your screen. The bass approaches slowly from the front, but the craw does what we all know it can do, sticks up its claws in a defensive position. So let's replay that real quick. It is very apparent that the bass backs off a little bit once he sees those claws go up. And as I pull the crawfish away, you can see that he keeps his Pinterest pointed toward the bass until the bass loses interest. This footage reminds me of some footage that I filmed about two years ago. Now, if you have ever seen a fishing YouTube video, this will probably look a little bit familiar to you. And as I always do, the lose rod and reel combo that I use for this experiment will be linked down in the description below for you guys to check out. So as we observed before, the exact same pattern is present here. The bass shows interest, the cross sticks up his pinchers, and the bass backs off. It really is pretty interesting to watch. Now as we go back to the first fish, we see the crawfish on the right side of the screen again, but this time we see a much different result. I don't really have an explanation for this difference in bass behavior, but as you can see again in this replay, the bass really shows no signs of fear on this attempt at removing the crawfish from the area. Now, of course, as many of you know, the footage is filmed during the spawn, so the bass aren't always focused on eating anything during this time period. But I don't believe that the ways in which a bass eats a crawfish change at all after this time, so this footage is still good to watch and learn from. On the second fish, we drop the crawfish in and immediately notice that this fish is active and angry. As you saw there, he doesn't want to eat the crawfish, but instead just moves it off his bed. And at this point, the crawfish still has its claws attached, so let's see how this fish continues to react to this. As you can see from these clips, this fish definitely isn't comfortable with the crawfish around. But here's what I conclude from this behavior. I noticed that with the claws on, the bass never opens his mouth or bumps the craw off the bed from the front. He is always attacking from the tail, like you can see here. He carries the craw off the bed by the tail. And when he does open his mouth to bite the craw, it's never a long bite for a long period of time. It, it's instead more like a bump. He, he, it seems like he doesn't want to be near the claws for too long. So what I decided to do was bring the crawfish back to the surface, take off the pinchers myself, so the crawfish has no defense mechanism, and here's my first try. Wow. That is the first time that this bass has bumped the crawfish from the front. So we try it again, and on this try, we get even more shocking results. The bass chomps down on the head of the crawfish and carries it off. This is definitely a first in our experiment. Wow. 
Now, I don't know if you all saw that or not, but let's take a slow-mo replay. That bass had the choice to hit the craw from the tail like he previously had done, but this time he goes out of his way to hit the craw on the head. That is really fascinating. And once again, I put the craw down there, and this bass feels no fear in taking the crawfish head first. It seems as if the bass checks out the crawfish, sees, hey, the crawfish doesn't have any claws anymore, and it's more, I guess, able and willing to bite the crawfish by the head, which is usually where a bass goes when it wants to actually eat something and kill something. So that is the video, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed. It was definitely fun for me to get down there and film that footage, and definitely some of the most interesting footage that I've ever gotten. I think it shed a ton of light on kind of not just whether or not bass eat crawfish, we all know the answer to that, but kind of the mechanics on how a bass eats a crawfish. Now you may ask, well Tyler, how does this footage apply to an actual crawfish lure like a jig or a soft plastic? You know, I've read many articles over the years, if I can find them, I'll, I'll link them below in the description. And basically, they, they kind of document exactly what we saw today. A bass's willingness to eat a crawfish that had no claws. So what does that mean for all the super realistic soft plastic craws the company sell us? Have they been scamming us all these years by actually making us catch less fish because the craws are sticking up? Maybe that's actually repelling the bass from biting our lures? And maybe that's why a lure like a Ned Rig or a Cinco works, because it's literally a straight lure, looks like a crawfish without any, without any claws. So I don't have answers to all these questions, but my guess is that yes, you are not always catching more bass when you're using a super realistic craw. Maybe sometimes it's actually hindering you from catching fish. But enough of what I think, I want to know what you guys think, so let me know down in the comment section below whether you like this video or didn't like this video, or you have a comment of your own, kind of to speak on the footage that you saw, make sure you guys leave it in the comment section below. If you did like it, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, and share this video with all your friends, that way they can see this awesome footage. And if you guys haven't seen any of my other underwater content, it'll be over here linked in these two boxes. Make sure you guys click on that if you guys are new here to the channel. I've been making underwater footage for five years now, and I absolutely love getting down there and getting that footage for you guys. So that is all I have for you guys. If you guys haven't subscribed again, please click subscribe below. And we'll see you guys in the next episode of Tyler's Drill Fishing.